this is one of the really interesting like sides to the regenerative farming story and one why I, you know one of the reasons why i think it will become like unlike other farming movements that we've seen in the past like biodynamic farming organic farming carbon farming like i think regenerative farming will become much more widespread mm. yeah is because on most soils on like kind of average soils like we have here you know not incredible soils you'll you'll probably make more money like farming this way yeah um, and the way that works is if you do it right and don't get me wrong like it's a, it's more complex than conventional farming because you know you, you we've lost sight of what that means uh so you know how, how to grow a plant in a way we rely on, on chemicals a bit more complex but if you get it right your yields really shouldn't change too much they should be pretty comparable with your like with your historical yields pretty comparable with your neighbors um you probably depending like on what's happened to your soils in the prior like 20 30 years you know you'll probably have a little drop off uh because the soils have been degraded but that will that may well come back I and mean, we expect it to come back you know we, we expect to actually have yields that are better than our his, his, historically once we've once we're like seven, eight years into the regenerative farming journey and our soil is actually healthy again. 